I'm Jen Runyon at Distributech International 2020. I'm talking to Itai from iTron. Welcome. Thank you, Jen. Great to be here. Glad that you're here. We're talking about the uh, Smart Community Challenge. Yes. So this is a new initiative that iTron is launching. Last year you had the Smart City Challenge. So what's the difference? So it's really a continuity of the Smart City Challenge that we've had last year in Europe, in London and Glasgow. That was a huge success that really helped uh, create innovation for the cities. Okay. Really helped us to create a purpose for what we're doing. We're not just selling technology, but really solving problems that the communities are facing. So the same in this case, we have partner utilities that understand their communities. They're very close to the communities they're serving. And they identified significant challenges that they are facing. And now we're looking for innovation around the world to solve those specific challenges. Those specific challenges. Exactly. Okay. Very, very cool. All right, so there's also a new acronym that I heard, I read in your press release, <laughs> EVSE, yes. Electric Vehicle Service Equipment. So what is an EVSE? Why are utilities thinking about EVSEs? And is that different than just right. EVs? A press release cannot be great without a new acronym, of course, right? That's so true. EVSE stands for Electric Vehicle Service Equipment. And is really how we look at all the infrastructure that uh, uh, both uh, private sector, utilities, and cities are looking to uh, deploy in order to enable the communities to uh, find the locations for charging their vehicles. Ah, right, right, right. So electrification of transportation, obviously, is part of the EVSE right. new acronym. Are, is that really rising? I mean, I, I read different reports. Some say, oh, we've got this massive growth of electric vehicles, and then others say, yeah, it's not really growing as fast as we'd like it to. What is your take on that? Well, we are pretty lucky at iTron to look at this uh, at the global uh, perspective, and there are regions where this is booming at uh, uh, what we call the hockey stick graph really, mm -hmm. really very quickly and rapidly. Uh, for example, China, California. California by, by itself uh, would be the second largest EV market after China today in the world. Okay. Uh, and, and there's tremendous growth in, in, in many different regions of the world today. Okay, so another part of the challenge was this resiliency challenge, yes. right? Can you tell me about that? When I read, it sounded like microgrids would be a solution. So tell us what is the resiliency challenge and what maybe could be some solutions? Well, it's very important to understand what resiliency means for sure. this community. And it's really uh, not just being ready for natural and man-made disasters, but also being able to continue to thrive and operate and continue our lives during those uh, uh, disasters and, 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 and return to normal operation as quickly as possible. So, of course, the basic in, uh, uh, infrastructure and how do we get power and water to these communities is essential. But we're talking also about communications, uh, roads, and, and there's a whole lot of aspects around our, our life that we need to solve in order to be fully resilient. Yeah, for sure. So, more than just a microgrid. Way more than microgrid. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> All right. So, where can people go more to find go to find out more about the Smart Community Challenge and maybe submit some answers? We would love innovators to come and apply for this challenge uh, at the itron.com/challenge uh, website, and all the details are there. All right. Great. Well, thanks for coming out to talk to me. Thank you very much.